there was only one thing missing. The impact should have left a crater 200 kilometers across. To be certain the theory was right, they had to find it. Alan Hildebrand, who was based in Calgary in Western Canada, was determined to be the one to discover the crater. He knew the spherial layers should be thicker the nearer he got to the crater itself. So he followed the trail of the spherules. Here in Western Canada, we have a layer at the Cretaceous tertiary boundary. It's about one centimeter thick on average. In Colorado and New Mexico, it's two or two and a half centimeters thick. Still farther south in the Caribbean, as in Haiti, it's about a half meter thick. So by 1989, we knew that the source crater had to be somewhere between North and South America. Then Alan Hildebrand had a stroke of luck. He happened to be looking at an old oil company map. He was looking at the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, near a village called Chicxulub. Then he noticed something odd. This is what I spotted, a horseshoe-shaped feature. We can see it better on this map. The anomaly is 180 kilometers across, which is in the range of sizes predicted for this crater. And lying on the Yucatan Peninsula, between North and South America, it's within the region where the ejecta thickness says the crater should lie. So this suggested that this might indeed be the crater that killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> 